Hey farm friends, welcome to Haven Acres. This is Stacy, and I wanna do a fun video today. At least I hope it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun for me anyhow. I don't know if any of you remember, but back in the spring, I went to the grocery store and I got three, three, <laughs> Uh, sweet potatoes from the grocery store. I wanted to do an experiment to see if I could sprout them and then plant the sprouts in the ground and get them to grow from just a generic grocery store sweet potato. Well, let's see what happened. Okay. So we are now in the greenhouse and this is September 26th, by the way. These are the three sweet potatoes that I got at the grocery store. And you can see, I just planted them in a plastic bag that the soil came in. I just had a little bit left. And as this was just an experiment, I just went for it. I did another video on this and what I had done back in the spring, but I'll just do a quick recap. I literally just put the sweet potatoes halfway in the soil and then started watering them. And I watered and watered and watered for probably a good, almost two months before I saw any green sprouts, but then I did. I clipped the green sprouts off the potatoes and then I planted them and just because I like to see what happens I left these three in the bag growing and can you see what actually happened seriously there's there's a sweet potato in there look Um, yeah, like for real, a real edible brand new Look at that Look at that That's a sweet potato I know you're all like you know kidding it's a sweet potato but come on like that was grown in a bag with two inches of soil in it that's it like who couldn't do that everyone watching could get a bag and put two inches of soil in it and grow well at least one sweet potato I'm gonna call it good and I'm gonna dig up the rest and see, I don't know, are there more in there? All right, I feel bad digging these up, I'm not gonna lie. And I actually might take these off and plant them in a container and just bring them into the house because it's a really pretty plant all in all. Okay, that's an original potato. In for now because I think I do want to bring that in the house. Here's another one. Haha <laughs> guys, oh my word, <laughs> this is amazing. There's another one. This is so fun. Alright, this sweet potato you can see is rotted severely. We're gonna call this one good, but look how pretty that is. All right, now let's go out to the garden and see what we have. I don't know. I hope there's some sweet potatoes.
over the past few days, I've started cleaning up the garden. I took the fence down and the umbrella and the pot plants, potted plants, not pot plants. Mainly, I started taking this down because the deer have been jumping the fence and eating all of the vegetables that I had left over. And you will probably notice the vines coming out into the pathway here. Those are sweet potato vines that the deer came in and ate all of the leaves off. I was going to leave the sweet potatoes in the ground a little while longer. However, they're not going to grow anymore now that the leaves are gone. So today is the day. Okay, don't mind the farm get up. This is real life farming. This is me. Someday I'll afford overalls with another strap attached. But for today, we are going to dig our sweet potatoes and see what happens. I've never done this. I've never done this, so I'm not entirely sure how to go about it, other than I read that you should cut off the vine at ground level and then just dig there. So that's what I'm gonna do. Except I guess I'm not gonna cut the vines because the leaves are gone already. So I can kind of see where they go into the ground. Definitely don't want to Spear. I don't want to spear any of them though. All right, let's just go for it. I just changed the camera angle so you can see at the same time I am seeing. goodness they are so teeny tiny that's all right this is food all right I a hundred percent could say oh wow these things are so tiny that wasn't worth it it was worth it because now I know that we can grow them they're small, they're still edible, they're still food. And I planted these pretty late and I would have normally left them a lot longer. So I'm excited about it. This was completely an experiment and I'm just going to keep digging and see what we come up with. The point, you can grow food inexpensively. You can get three sweet potatoes from the store and you can grow your own slips and you can plant them in the ground and you can get food. That is what it's all about. Taking your own food into your own hands. Let's get digging.
giant. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I sure can see, I sure can see that if these had a little more time, they would have been beautiful. A real, a real sweet potato. Maybe two real sweet potatoes. Okay, this is so exciting. This is why garden experiments should be done. Come on, how amazing is this? Don't you just want to watch with me now and see what happens as I dig? Maybe not a jackpot. That might be exaggerating. But still.
it's hard to tell where the plants go into the ground or what's just crisscrossed over. So I'm just kind of pulling and digging where I think a plant actually went into the ground. I'm going to take a wild guess that from now on, this bed is going to be our sweet potato bed because I can tell just by how they're digging up, they're leaving little immature sweet potatoes and roots all throughout the soil. And just based on how I know potatoes grow, I suspect next year they're going to uh, propagate themselves a bit. So I'll just plan that this is you know, now our sweet potato bed. Alright, sorry. We got sidetracked yesterday doing a firewood delivery and I forgot to finish the video. It was too dark by the time we got home and such is life. I just wanted to show you the result of the experiment is sweet potatoes. So first off, don't let anyone tell you you can't do something 
when it comes to gardening. If you want to try it, try it. They, whoever they is, says that you cannot grow sweet potatoes from store-bought sweet potatoes because they've been sprayed with an anti-sprouting agent. Clearly that's not true. These were not organic sweet potatoes that I purchased at the store. They were just regular old sweet potatoes. These potatoes I grew in an organic manner, but we have food for our family from three sweet potatoes. You can do this. You just have to try. And I'm going to carry this experiment even further because I'm going to take that one sweet potato that I saved that has the pretty vines on it. I'm going to bring it in the house, see if I can winter it over in the house growing the vines. And if I can, I will take those vines and plant them in the garden next year and see what happens. Here we go, part two of the sweet potato experiment. Thank you for joining us. It's always a treat and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Was it worth it? I think so. We'll talk to you soon.